Breaking news. Welcome to La Free's Concept TV. Here is the headline. Bill seeking 10-year jail term for those who refuse to sing national anthem. Sparks outrage. Bill seeking 10-year jail term for those who refuse to sing national anthem. Sparks outrage. To my dear listeners, before I go into details, ensure you like, subscribe, and share. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, who sponsored the bill, has defended it, saying it is all encompassing and aimed at addressing subversive activities in Nigeria. Prominent national figures have continued to criticize the proposed House of Representatives bill that would impose a 10-year prison sentence on those who refuse to recite the national anthem. The bill, sponsored by Speaker Tajuddin Abbas, is set for its second reading, where its general principles will be debated. In May, President Bola Ahmed Tunubu signed into law the bill to revert to Nigerian's old national anthem, which was dropped by a military government in 1978. The newly readopted anthem, which begins Nigeria with LD, was written by Lillian Jane Williams in 1959 and composed by Francis Beda. The bill, the bill stipulates that anyone found guilty of destroying national symbols, guilty of destroying national symbols refusing to recite the national anthem and pledge, the facing a place of worship with intent to incite violence or undermining the federal government shall face a fine of 5 million naira, a 10-year prison sentence or both. The bill will also state that anyone who set up an illegal roadblock performs unauthorized traffic duties, imposes an illegal curfew, or organizes an unlawful procession will be subject to a fine of 2 million naira, 5 years in prison, or both upon conviction. Also, any person who forcefully takes over any place of worship, town hall, school premises, public or private place, arena, or a similar place through direct, undue influence, subterfuge, or other similar activities, commits an offense and is liable on conviction to a fine of 5 million narrow law imprisonment for a term of 10 years or both. A person who professes loyalty, pledges or agrees to belong to an organization that disregards the sovereignty of Nigeria, commit an offense and is liable on conviction to a fine of 3 million naira law imprisonment for a term of 4 years or both. It also added, among others, following the reintroduction of the old national anthem. A Nigerian activist, Aisha Yesufol in May, was seen sitting while the anthem was being recited. She had insisted that she would rather sing the Arise or Compatriot or remain mute while it is in progress. On Wednesday, she again tweeted on X that she will choose 20 years in prison than sing Tinubu's anthem passed by slaves masquerading as lawmakers in the National Assembly. Similarly, in a tweet on X, 
the former minister for solid minerals, Obi Ageli Ezek Wesley, argued that whenever and wherever the national anthem is called for, I shall continue to sing Arise, O Compatriot, as my national anthem. She tweeted, I am certain that the Speaker of the House, Nigeria, at Speaker Abbas and at Nas, Nigeria knows this for a fact. Surely, he must know that the so-called counter-subversion bill, which he introduced and alleged to be in its second reading, is a silly flight of fancy that further reveals how unserious and irrelevant the lawmakers are to the Nigerian condition. I, for example, have kept my public statement and only stand and sing the real Nigerian national anthem, Arise, O Compatriot, never the, con the, col the colonial and tribal one, one that he and his colleagues conspired with at Nigerian president and kangarooed into law in violation of constitutional recession. Get ready. To prosecute me when you pass your noxious counter subversion bill into an act. But before then, please note that if there is any group of Nigerians that deserve a subversion act, it is you and your colleagues at the NAS, Nigeria, who consistently subverts the progress of Nigeria and our people through your legendary public misdemeanors that accumulate into bad governance. Your citizens have spoken up in unison, asking you and your colleagues in the executive and judicial arms to end bad governance in Nigeria. You obviously have still not had the ticking chimes of time. 